Welcome, my name is Helena. In 5 minutes, you will learn how to create AI images by prompting. We made this video to help absolute beginners, but don't leave if you're already familiar with prompting. After watching this video, you will go from prompting like this to prompting like this. Let's dive right in. When you come into the open art side, the first page you want to get on would be create image. When you get onto this page, you'll see that on the left, we'll have a control panel with a bunch of different settings. In this video, we'll actually just stick to the prompt box and we'll leave the model on default, which is open art SDXL. It's optimized for most use cases, whether it's photorealistic or artistic. But once we get through the prompting 101, we can talk more about how to pick the best model for your specific project. To get started, I'm going to try to create a scene of animal friends in a forest. You know, sometimes I feel like I'm out of inspirations and I don't know what examples to do. This is something super random, but I'm guessing it could be good for children books. Oh, and the images are done already. It took less than three seconds. We uh, recently moved on to some really nice GPUs and I'm loving this. The animals look a little bit confused though i don't really know what they are they look like some sort of hybrids but a really helpful feature here is that you can click on enhance prompt and quick enhance and that writes out an entire prompt for you it's written in this format that image models can understand the best basically a good prompt usually consists of tags they're separated by commas they would be words or phrases and you want to put in the subject some um, a lot of descriptive words and terms expressing the atmosphere, the emotions, and some magic words to improve the image quality. Let's see. That's a little bit weird. I'm not sure why the green forest is on our animal friends. And I'm guessing it's because the lush green foresting is stressed too much. So let's delete that and um, try again. So the enhanced prompt feature is not like it's going to get to something perfect on first try, but it helps give you a more complete prompt so you have something to work with. And um, I think this is already getting a lot better. We can see a lot more of the friendship element versus the uh, generations before enhancement. Now they're interacting and they're smiling. And I think the lighting is also a lot better. And so then from there, you can adjust the prompt to get it closer to what you actually have in mind. Say I want to make the forest more like an autumn forest. I can just type out autumn leaves and add it right there. The more important the tag is, the earlier in the prompt you want to put it. So I inserted it as the second tag. And now we've got an autumn forest. And I wanted to show this example on the new model that we released. It's the Flux Dev version. Definitely one of the top-notch models right now. I added squirrel on the left and rabbit on the right. And let's see. How cute is that? You know, most models still struggle with uh, prompt alignment like this. But flex stuff is great. All right, back to beginner prompting. Another feature that is great to get you started is actually right here. Image to prompt. And I'm going to throw this image in. All right now it's generating prompt and now we got a doll with a hat and blue eyes da -da -da -da. I even put the name of a french model i think i'm going to change doll into a woman and now we can click use prompt and you'll see that that prompt now is inside of this box and let's create with it and there we go we've got our own image from a prompt inspired by a different image Let's do another image to prompt example. We're going to do this watch, right? It's a random picture I found online. All right, great. Let's take this. It even gave me a brand. Ooh, that's quite cool. Somehow the watch is very, very far away. That's probably because we're not stressing enough how the composition is going to be. But if you look at the original image, it's really inspired by the style. And now if you need more inspirations, this is what I do actually when I need your help with video ideas. I would go to community feed and I will see a bunch of stuff generated by OpenR users. They only show up here if the users publish them. And so let's take this ring picture as an example. 
we're gonna copy the prompt by clicking this little double square icon and we can go to the create page and create from there oh wow look at that how pretty we can also try to enhance it oh wow now look at that quality this is insane and i literally could be a complete beginner i just looked for inspirations on the open art community feed took the prompts uploaded by the users well some of them don't have prompts because these are um, from other features but whenever there is a prompt we can just take that and make use of it which is a really great way to learn more about prompting and over time you'll kind of get a sense of what makes up a really good prompt and what certain tags would do to a um, ai generated image if i do kind of have a vague idea in mind and i just want to scroll through similar creations then i could put in here say wallpaper and and i'm referring to like the digital wallpaper uh, actually i'm getting a lot of the real like wall wallpaper so uh, maybe i'll put um in like phone wallpaper all right so this is more like it um we can do similar things you know like copy the prompt and then try to work from there but i also want to show you the difference between search by image similarity and search by prompt so right now we're searching on image similarity if you click into one of them you'll see that the keywords phone wallpaper are nowhere to be seen in the text prompt but if we switch to search by prompt then everything we see here would mean that the user actually used phone and wallpaper to generate this image so definitely know that search trick it can help you find things that you otherwise won't be able to and since this picture from velvet librarian is actually stunning here's a really hidden trick uh, it's a secret tip that i'm going to show you i can click on copy image address and now from my clipboard let's go back to search by image similarity um, it won't work if you're on the prompt tab and then i'm just going to paste in the image link and search with that we are actually doing image to image search so we're using that image to search up other images that have like a similar style or a composition and we actually see that this one and this one are from the same artist on open art this link doesn't have to come from open art it can come from anywhere for example i'm just on google image search right now and i'm going to take the image link of this car wallpaper note that you don't want to take the copy link address you want to click on copy image address and then if we go back to search and paste in that link we are getting all these images and if we clicked into one of them we'll get a prompt inspiration that we can work with like this without enhancing and after enhancing it looks like this we look at the original image that we took the inspiration from it's really inspired by the community feed and it is that easy the next thing i want to mention in today's video is the prompt book it's this really nice pdf with everything you need to know about how to craft a really professional prompt though i personally enjoy learning by doing more so i think the prompt assistant and image for prompt and also like getting inspirations from the community are really really fun ways to get started but in the next video we will do a slightly deeper breakdown of crafting an image prompt and we'll go over some other stuff on this create panel thank you so much for watching if you found this helpful don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you can watch the rest of the series i'll see you next time